This word has lovely roots in Latin. Super meaning over and fluere meaning flow. So you have an overflow. Something that is superfluous is unnecessary because it's too much, it's extra. If you ask someone for directions and they give you the directions and a lengthy lecture on the history of the Eisenhower interstate system, that's superfluous information. Some might say that defining a word and then giving lots of examples and a story is superfluous, but I'm hoping not. Now, lots of things can be superfluous. You can have too many spoons, for instance. But for our story today, the man had superfluous words. The man in question was General Smythe, a member of Congress from Virginia. He would get up and give long speeches that nobody cared about. They were superfluous. Just like our root words, this guy was overflowing with stuff he wanted to say, but nobody wanted to hear it. So you can imagine his frustration when there was a new guy who showed up and everybody loved him. The new guy was Henry Clay, a powerful speaker and influential statesman. With all the glory going to Clay, Smythe started to feel like he was a little superfluous himself. So one day on meeting Henry Clay in a hallway, he defended his long superfluous speeches, saying, you sir speak for the present generation, but I speak for posterity. Clay was fairly unimpressed and responded, yes, and you seem resolved to speak until the arrival of your audience. Thanks so much for watching, I really appreciate it. I would also appreciate it if you uh, liked, comment, and subscribed. Uh, feel free to comment words you would like to hear in the future or stories that you think are worthy of being brought up on this, uh, on this channel. Uh, if you would like to know more about me, my books, or anything else going on, uh, please check out LanceConradBooks.com. Thank you so much.